or three, um, not more than three. And um, you'll work and discuss something. So it's going to be totally relevant. So what you're looking at here is something that I'm working on now. These are pediatric growth charts. Um, does anybody know what that is? That's correct. So each pediatrician that sees a child will, uh, it has the history of the child, will look at their path across one of these charts. Um, so how these charts are made? Yeah. So when you're born, you're born in a certain category. They, they make a big deal about this when, when you're born. Now, how, many, how big was the baby? Um, we just had a baby in my family and uh, just six pounds something. So everybody asks, how, what was the length? What was the birth? So you have an initial starting point after birth. And after birth, you're trapped. So um, you have these bunches of curves put together. The top curves are the height curves. So when you go to a pediatrician with a child, they'll measure their height. They'll also measure their weight. Initially, the baby's put on a little scale, and they measure the weight that way. And after some time, the baby's you know, just going to grow enough to stand on a scale. Um, centimeter. You'll see one in our clinic if you visit. Um, and so these things are measured. Across the United States, they have, I, I don't know when these were made, these are the CDC um, growth charts that are used by um, the U.S. Uh, pedi pediatricians. Um, we also have World Health Organization growth charts, which are used internationally. And I've been talking to a uh, one of the pediatricians I work with is, is from Italy. He says he uses the WHO work chart, uh, growth charts. But these growth charts are in the office, and what you see is there's a bunch of them side by side. The very smallest, you'll see that um, the top, on the very side, you'll see these um, percentiles. So the very bottom is, you see this little number here, the five. I think on this, the boys and the girls, you have at least fifth percentile. And um, the middle curve is the 50th percentile, kind of like an average. So this is made with cross-sectional data. That means that the CDC collected information across the nation and then calculated at each age the highest and the lowest. And then they connected the dots for all the, pe the people like, uh, that are in the 95th percentile at age 8, all the kids that are in the 95th percentile at age 9, all the kids who are in the 90th percentile. They're not the same child being followed. It's different groups of kids. But all of them that were in 90th percentile, they connected the dots and they formed that curve. All of them that were in the 50th percentile, it makes a dot for each age, and they connected the dots and it makes that curve. So that's what this is. So there's a difference between what we call longitudinal data, that's where you follow someone around, that's hard to do, um, that's a long study. Or, I mean, things happen, right? People move, so it's really hard to keep people in a study like that. Or you can use cross-sectional data. So that's where this data comes from that's used. And um, I asked the pediatrician I work with and the doctor I work with on growth charts how they use this in the clinic. But I've done research with them for so long, they kept answering me research questions. Like, oh, you know, we don't want to use the BMI. I'm like, that's not what I'm asking. What do you do in the clinic with these charts? All that I was told was, your child is in the 10th percentile, your child is in the 50th percentile. How do you as a pediatrician use this in the clinic? I still haven't got a reply back from, from Angelo from Italy to tell me how he uses this in the clinic. Um, what, how does he decide? Does he decide was when someone falls from a percentile curve to a different one that something's gone wrong? Or that if they move up, they were in the 50th percentile and then the next time they were measured, they were in the 90th percentile? Is that a flag that they look for? How, how do they use this chart clinically? So I'm wait, awaiting their answer. They're confused. This morning I asked, this is the third time I asked, and um, I got, uh, an the answer I got is, can you make an app that's usable in the clinic for a pediatrician? They don't understand what I'm asking. Like, how do they apply this? So that's where these curves come from. And um, what I'd like you to do is um, just look at the curves themselves <clears throat> and tell me some things that you notice about the curves at the fifth fifth percentile versus the curves at the 90th percentile for boys and girls. The bottom set is weight and the top set is height. And you can work in groups of three. Just look for little patterns that you can notice. Uh, I'll show you one example. You know, is it a line? 
Are these lines? Are they just lines like that? No, right? What happens over time? It curves, right? It flattens out, right? Especially for height, you see it flattening out. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, I'm not growing any taller. Although when I play basketball, I wish. It doesn't happen. I'm done. So, um, what about weight? What do you see with weight? It increases with the height, but does it level? No. no. It's a fluctuate around. So just write down some thoughts that you see with this curve, just to familiarize yourself with, with the curves itself. 